We started uh, 2015 with PDL uh, Center in uh, Stockholm. And it was mainly because we, uh, we fell in love uh, in the sport of paddle. Uh, we've seen it in Spain and in Portugal. And we wanted to play ourselves. And uh, I think the timing was, uh, was very good. Uh, I think a lot of Swedes have seen paddle when they travel. Uh, and uh, I think we also were very lucky with the promotion because I was involved in, in Dancing with the Stars and uh, um, uh, one of the owners as well won the Eurovision Song Contest at the same time. So we could use a lot of promotion, you know, that we had uh, open up our first uh, paddle center in Stockholm. And uh, I think after that it's been taking off, growing very fast, uh, almost like it did uh, back in the days in Spain. Now we have a good setup uh, because we have a lot of centers in Sweden. Uh, and like you said, it's been growing so fast. Uh, we have 44 centers open now, and uh, I think uh, in total in Sweden it's uh, it's probably around 1,500 courts. Uh, but the problem is also that we don't have uh, enough coaches uh, because the sport is young, and the best one in Sweden are still not at the level maybe if you compare to Spain. So we need, we need a lot of help uh, when it comes to education uh, for, for having good coaches and, and I think in the next uh, two, three years I, I think we will uh, have a good progress and uh, we see now that a lot of juniors started to play. Uh, we just had a tournament in, uh, outside uh, Gothenburg uh, and we had 14 year olds, 16 and 18. Uh, so it starts slowly to come. Uh, and I think uh, in maybe two, three years, we also have way more juniors uh, competing. I think it's going to take a long time because uh, Spain and South America are extremely good in paddle. Uh, they are at least 20, uh, 20 years ahead of us. Uh, so. Uh, it's, it's going to take a long time, but we have uh, in, on the men's side we have uh, three guys who's playing professional now, trying to play uh, pre previa and uh, previa qualis uh, on the VPT, and uh, we have one girl as well as a professional. Uh, so I think we're going to have more and more coming, and hopefully a few uh, players will now start on the APT as well. I think uh, it's a massive interest for APT, so uh, and I think for a lot of uh, Swedish players uh, to, to get the chance to play against uh, you know, the best and, and, and also learn from those matches. So I think that's, uh, uh, that's definitely something I, I recommend for everyone. Pa paddle right now is, is, is still a young sport, even if it's been for 30 years. Uh, but if I see to the uh, European Championship uh, with the organization and, and, and all of that, and I think with having two European organizations, uh, APT, VPT, I think if everyone can uh, work together uh, and, and have a good setup, I, I think uh, the sport has a great potential uh, to, uh, to grow and, and become a, a big international sport.